Hello, my name is Tom Morgan, and I'm going to talk to you today about the Microsoft Teams App Studio, which uh, was launched earlier this week. I was going to do a blog post about this, but I thought actually it's probably just easier to put together this video um, and show you everything about it. So, uh, like I say, it was announced this week. It is really, uh, really very new um, and exciting, and it's aimed really at people building um, apps for Microsoft Teams. So let's have a look at it. So this is my uh, my test tenant. And so the first question is, how do I get it? OK, so um, it's an app. So what that means is uh, down on this ellipsis that lists out different Teams apps, if I go to more apps and if I search here for um, Teams App Studio, you can see here, you can see it's in preview. Um, like I say, really, really new. And I can just click to install it. And that's going to install now and just take a a couple of moments and immediately uh, I've got a little message here um, from the bot um, I'm just going to close that and let's have a look so here I've uh, got a message here and, and really the bots just sort of saying um, you know there's uh, I'm here if you need me but there's not very much I can't respond so there's no point talking to me um, and there's a link off to some documentation documentation there however what's interesting are these tabs across the top now, the, there's, there's three things here that I'm going to go through in order. By far, the most exciting or most interesting, I think, um, is this manifest editor. Now, if you've tried to build apps for Microsoft Teams, you'll know that there's two parts. There's the app you build, um, but then there's also the manifest that tells uh, Microsoft Teams, uh, you know, what's in the app, what it does, what permissions it needs, uh, and, and everything surrounding, you know, an application. And they've been a bit of a pain to write historically um, and, and this manifest editor makes them much much easier to build so i'm going to click create on a new app um, and here this is the information and what's brilliant is that um, this is the information i need to build out my app but also it tells me which values are required so i know that if I'm, i need to build out an app i need to provide a name i need to provide a website it must be a valid https url so this is all the stuff that's built into the schema of um, the manifest you're bit that's, that gets created, it's just this is a much friendlier way of doing that. And there's there's nice touches like the ability to generate um, a GUID, uh, you know, nice examples and the watermarks for what the thing, you know, what the information should look like. Um, and then here you've got the information about the the the, the, the 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 images and the icons that are needed as well. You go through that process. You can then add in the capabilities you need. Again, all this had to be done uh, in XML before. Um, and same, you know, the bots, connectors, and messaging extensions. You have uh, the ability to fill all that stuff out. Once you've done all that, you can then export this um, to just a, the XML. Um, so I've just done that, and it's created a zip file. And um, if I open that file, you can see here it's got the manifest. And it's got the uh, the two images I didn't actually specify, so I imagine they're sort of uh, sort of temporary ones. Yeah, you can see that's the icon. Um, and if I, let's just have a look at this uh, this manifest JSON file. So here you can see this is the generated uh, manifest file, and it's quite empty because I didn't actually fill anything in. But you can see here, um, you know, this is how you generate, and this is a you know structurally correct um, manifest file. So this is really, really useful um, to help developers build up these manifests um, for their applications. And it was quite a hard process before. It was tricky and you didn't really know if you were doing it right until you submitted it. Um, and then it would either work or it wouldn't work. So double thumbs up for the manifest editor. That's that's really cool. Uh, the card editor is the next tab along. And this is uh, this is nice as well because um, allows you to select a type of card like the hero card or the thumbnail card um, and, and put in some information um, here and it will generate uh, the the code that you need it'll generate it in C sharp and it'll also generate it in node um, you can also add other things like buttons so I can add you know one uh, let's add three buttons as well you can see here it's added more in. So this is really nice. If you're not particularly familiar with how to build up uh, applications in in Teams, or you're not particularly uh, like a really competent developer, 
you can use this to get a really kind of good head start on exactly how things are laid out and how they're how they're kind of put together. And also it says I can sign in to send a preview. Um, let's try doing that. So click that. It asks me uh, if if uh, I can do this and sign in and and do these things on my behalf. So I'll say yes to that. Uh, and then it says send me this card. So I'm going to click that and see what happens. And I get a message from the Teams App Studio that it sent me a card. And here is the card that I just built with the three buttons and the text on. So this is a really nice way of just testing out, um, you know, uh, testing out what's going on. So you can uh, you can be here and you can say, well, actually, what what if it looked like this? What if it looked like that? What if I added in this image? If I, you know, uh, took up some buttons away? What if it was a thumbnail card instead of a hero card? And you can quickly make changes um, and see immediately what they look like. Um, and see how they show up. So that's really nice as well. The third uh, item along here is the control library. So this is nice because this is just this is really a showcase. It's um, it shows you all the different things that you can build in Teams using their control UI library. Um, and you can see how all these things look. Uh, so these are toggles, obviously. Uh, we've got radio buttons. We've got links. We've got tabs. And for, all, and for each of these, you can see the code uh, to generate those things as well. So um, this is really nice as well, because if you wanted to just see how stuff's done, um, see which UI constructs are possible and uh, how maybe you, you're not sure how you would implement you know, something like this, um, then you can just look in the code and see how that's done um, for, for error labels, for instance, in this example here. Um, see how that happens. So it's actually really nice as well, even though um, on the face of it, it's, you know, it's maybe a little bit simple, but actually it's a, it's a really useful thing to be able to see. Even this list of icons is super useful because this is the stuff that's hard to find when you're, you know, writing apps and you just want to, because you want to write your apps in, in the nicest way possible and to look like they fit into Teams and, and to, to look like they fit in and they look, you know, in place and stuff. So it's nice to have this reference library of controls and icons and the way things are done. OK, so that was a really quick roundup of the new Microsoft Teams App Studio uh, app. So you can get it for yourself. Uh, like I said, download it from the App Store, uh, like I showed, and um, have it yourself and use it either as reference, um, but also to, to create your manifest as well in the future. Thanks for watching.